Hello guys, welcome back to America Truck Simulator. Today we're going to be doing a mod review of the Ford 9000, LT 9000. Let's go route. We have about 612 miles, we're going to be hauling this garbage truck. We're in uh, Bakersfield, California, we're heading up to... Nevada. Let's go route. Ready to rock and roll. We're going to do a mod review of this Ford uh, 9000 LT. Today. So this truck, uh, I did not see no option for beacons for the truck. Now I may, I may overlook them, but I don't think they're done there. We will look at that. Outside view, just for a minute here. So the trunk's running a uh, Cummins in fourteen. I had to get a thumbnail. on the highway now. One thing about it, if you're coming out watching the video, but uh, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Have the channel grow. I'm glad you enjoyed the content on the subscribe. And you know, that's, what, that's what we're here for. Make people happy, want to come watch the show. I love the sound of this charger. Charger. Huh. I think about GGA. Sorry about that. I love the sound of this in 14. Good sounding engine. 
my mind is lost this morning, guys. It's still early. Still asleep. But me too, I forgot what I was fleeing. That's pretty bad. We got 530 miles. Just I want to see uh, which way it's going to take us. Okay. Like when I stay on the 395. Then it will go through Carson City and turn into the 580. And then we'll get on, um, Carson City will get on the 80. Okay. That's not too bad. right now.
night driving and on the, some of the back roads, you always don't want to, you don't always just take the uh, expressways and sometimes you want to do the back road driver like this. And I get that. Creep up his hill. We don't kill the truck. now got 425 miles to go I'm gonna go ahead and have to get a thumbnail I like the dump truck, uh, the old garbage truck. They're like an old Chevrolet, like an old Chevrolet garbage truck. Good to go. thumbnail out of the way so we're good.
about 390 miles to go. Look about a half tank of fuel. That fuel gauge is right, about a half tank. Yeah, guys, so right now, like I said, we just try, we just kind of being quiet, and um, I, would, I really would like to put some music on, but it would probably get demonetized. Forty-five miles ago. update we're going to be getting for ATS. I can tell you this, I did see that the only modded, the only truck that we don't have in that spawns in traffic from SCS is the new Volvo. I like that's coming in the next update. Whoa. 
Walmart. bottom now. Seventy six miles to two and eighty six miles ago. Carson City. Turn right. Like the heaving rim. Turbo.
Okay, we gotta kind of try to fix, see if we can fix the mirror. The mirror is terrible in this truck. Mirror pretty good on that one. Truck. And then exit right. Oh, there's a big lag spike. Exit right. I don't know where that comes from. Seventy-two miles ago. It's a long run for a mod review, but I was already hooked to it. I thought we'd go ahead and just run it.
out the way. Yep. Weighs 62,157 pounds. But look at the truck here. to hammer down. Dang the bump. Five miles to go.
We're about 20 miles out. I said yard. I don't know why I said yard. Uh, 20 miles. I was, we, was, we was about 20 miles out. Okay, I thought it was the other kind. This is where it ends, sugar. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard one here. That's what I was thinking it was. I was wanting to turn around. to back it in there. Tell me that Ford can't even climb that. Looks like John Ruder trailer.
Let me look, look go on the outside just for a minute here. A little bit off. Let me see if I can come over this way a little bit. We we'll have to cut it sharp. They're gonna be a little bit off. I think we're gonna have to. We're gonna try to turn it. I think it's hard to see it. Kill the truck. I'm gonna pull up and kind of straighten up a little bit. All right, so we drove actually we drove 613 miles. I think it's 12 hours and 80 minutes. You're here, we consuming 130.4 gallons of fuel. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the truck. We always do this in a mod review, so we're gonna do it for this truck here. Go into our Ford dealership here and the modded uh, dealerships. All right, so. The truck comes with two cab options. Come from like this is like a flat top of the truck. I I do like the studio sleeper version a little bit better myself. So it comes with two uh, cab options. Chassis options you only have two. You have a six by four long. That's, yeah, six by four long. Two hundred. Actually, they're the same. It's two. It's a two six by four long. Two hundred twenty gallon. And a six by four long two and twenty gallon. I don't know exactly. Okay, it changes the uh, the changes the cab. Okay, I was not aware it done that. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. So it gives you a different little bit, a little bit of a different cab option for that. So that's not bad. So as far as the engine goes, it, it does work for a lot of the mod packs out there. Uh, a lot of the um, Z mod packs work on it. Engine packs. 
So you're running anywhere from about 300, 325 horsepower for this truck all the way up to like a thousand. Which you don't need a thousand horsepower. So this one here's got 845, which you don't you would never need it. Here's one with a thousand a thousand eighty eight. You'd never need it, but Here's a Cummins L10 260, Cummins L10 280, Cummins L10 310, a Cummins N14 330E, a Cummins NTC 350, 350 horsepower. So it has a bunch of different engine options. There's a lot of uh, support for the, the 444 works in it. It has a lot of Cummins uh, engine options and a few cat options. So it's actually a, that's good to see a lot of engine options. Some of these modded trucks just don't have that unless you already have mods that were that supported for it. It's good to see that. So as uh, far as transmission goes, you got a seven speed. Uh, the, always remember your differential is what you don't really need to look at. Um, you got a seven speed. This one is uh, 225. Uh, that's seven speed 255. Uh, eight speed 410, eight speed 456. Uh, there's a nine speed 355. A um, nine speed, that's a good. They only have one nine speed. Got a ten speed 355, ten speed 370, ten speed 391, thirteen speed 355, uh, a fifteen speed 325. I think you got an Allison transmission. I mean, that's actually eaten full. 18 speed, 325. Another 18 speed, 370. 18 speed, 410. So that's all your transmission options now. These are modded transmissions here from a modded engine pack. All right, one cab option, one interior option. That ain't but one. For the truck. Paint jobs. Standard paint jobs all trucks have. Minor trucks. No uh no no um liberties, anything like that come with it. Which is okay. No paint jobs, anything like that. All the metallics work. So you can see it all works like it's supposed to. Here's uh your options now. I had a bug shield on the truck. I had that bug shield. I didn't like it because it actually blocks your view. So I removed it. I did not like how high it set. Uh, anyone who wants to use it, that's, uh, that's up to you. Uh, you have different uh, grill options here. You have the A grill, which is the standard grill for the Ford 9000. And the black mesh grill. I actually would not look bad with this truck here with the black. The truck being black, the black grill would, would, would not look bad with it. Chrome, and then you have a painted version of that. That wouldn't look bad either, to be honest with you. You have two of these. I'm not sure what that does. It just says B. Not sure what that is. Okay, it changes something right here on your light. Let me see. Okay, it changes the um, area of your light, where your light is right here, where your headlights are. It changes that uh, either chrome or, or black. Same color of the truck. Okay. Now, this gives you uh, decals on here to tell you what, uh, what type of engine you got in the truck. Like there, if you want to put that on, you can actually put lights right here. I got John Rudy's light pack in, so I have different lights. From his light pack right here. You know, you have to have some kind of light pack on to use it like that. But, right, as far as bumpers go, you have an a, a option, B. You have, like I said, you put your lights on there. That's a C option. Um, D. E. Plenty of lights where you can put lights on it. F. And you got a G. Then an o OEM version of that. 
That's your headlights, like I said. Now, the one thing I was disappointed with with the truck was the side mirrors. There's no side mirror option for the truck. Also, I don't like these right here. I've seen these before, and I don't like it. I think it blocks your view. So, if I want these uh, right here on your on your windshield, you know, that's totally up to you if you want to run them. I don't like them myself. Okay, this is your fuel tank. You can get a chrome fuel tank or a painted crew fuel tank like that. The tank back here in the back. I'm imagining that's your air tanks. Because this is your fuel tanks. I'm imagining they're talking about your, your air tanks back there for the truck. Alright, so. I don't know what that is. It's, okay, that is the, on the fuel tank right there. Same color of the truck. Okay, I see what that is. It's like a cover. This would be your door handles, I would imagine. Let me see. No. This is side lighting. Now, it does not come with a no no side lighting. There is a place for it, but it does not have it. So that is kind of a disappointment that uh, it was left like that. Now, maybe there's a light pack out there that works for it, but it did not come with it. Uh, maybe that's the issue. Not really sure about that. Um, chassis option is, is black or painted. Which would be the same color, black, because the truck's black. You have a step you can put here. It's actually like a battery pack, battery box step, a rugged step, which is uh, pretty good. Um, this is, uh, I think, like a PTO unit on the back back here. You can put all uh, the hydraulic oil and stuff in the truck. Um, you don't, a lot of trucks still have those, but most of like for logging and farming and stuff like that, <clears throat> where you would see that. Uh, tire options for the truck it's gonna be pretty much everything normal um, I, I do I am using um, um, Viper's uh, Arcoa pack so I do have the option for the Arcoa tires and rims I'm using uh, Smarties uh, wheel pack so uh, we do have options for all of that So that's pretty much the outside up here. You can put you put lights on the truck like right here. You can add more horns if you want to, but you can use the regular lighting. You can put lights up here. I do like the fact you did get double lighting up here. I like that. I don't like the wing up here. I wish that could be removed. I never have liked that wing myself. I mean, you know, some people like them. I don't. Right, here's the inside of the cab. This is like for a spoiler. So if you want to put a spoiler on the truck, you can. Uh, right here, it is supported by the uh, SISL accessory pack. It does support that, which is good to see. There's a fan. You put a fan up there if you want to. Yeah, I don't like that. It blocks your view. That's your CB. Right here, when you put your have your GPS over here, right there, over right there, where we had ours. I think it looks better right there. You can put a vent there, like that. See, you put a report. I'm just kind of putting some stuff here like that. Just kind of see what you can do. Uh, a lot, not really a lot of options on the inside of the cab. Uh, I don't like the way the steering wheel sits in the truck. I, I wish it sit kind of up more. To me, it sits kind of low. Um, yeah, it sits kind of low to me. But maybe that's where these trucks sit. Oh, I'm not really sure. About that, uh, you have the option here for that. So that's pretty much all the options you get with the Ford um, L9000. Now, as far as the truck goes. Let me, let me pull out my punish trailer.
Now, as far as the truck goes, I, I think it's a, it's a good truck. It, it, it needs, I think it's still a work in progress. It still has some stuff to do. I would, I would, I would really like to see some hood mirrors put on it. Uh, I'm not, I know these trucks have them. I've seen them online with hood mirrors. So I know they, they come with hood mirrors. So I would like that and I'll to take the wing off and fix the steering wheel a little bit better. But I mean, other than that, it's a nice truck. Um, I would give it myself a five. Um, uh, but anybody wants to use it, you can uh, get it on in just about any ATS mod site. Modded site. Uh, it's pretty common. It gets updated all the time. Every time the game updates, the truck gets updated. So it stays updated. So, um, I just want to thank, say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Have a chunk growth. We'll see you in the next video.